So for this video, we're going to talk about how you can incorporate Google searches in your Crew AI project. I'm going to show you how you can set that up in your project. We're going to use a tool called Serper Dev, and it's going to be real quick, real easy setup. And then I'm going to talk to you a little more about how I set this project up so that you can use it on your own. You're going to be able to download this, use it on your browser. You're not going to have to install anything and you'll be able to pretty much customize it, play with it any way you want as we move on to other tutorials. So let's get started. So the tool, the tool we're using again is called Serper Dev Tool. And the only thing you need to do to start using it is this line right here. You're just gonna do from Crew AI Tools, import Serper Dev. Now, like most tools, you do need an API key for this as well. And that's gonna be referenced within your application. So in order to get your API key, you do have to go to the website. Again, it's just gonna be serper.dev. And it's gonna look like this at the home page, just so you can see. It's gonna look like this. You're gonna click sign up. Now, the good thing about this API is that you actually get 2,500 credits for free. You don't even have to input your credit card information. So I think that's really cool. And again, this is the tool that lets Crew AI do Google searches for you while Crew AI is running. So just keep that in mind. You do need this for this aspect of the application. Once you get your API key, you're gonna get taken to a dashboard like this. You're just gonna to go to API key here. And from here, you can just copy it. Again, like any API key, make sure you keep that secret. Don't post that on the internet. Don't just keep that to yourself. And on this project or whatever project you end up using, you're gonna paste it on here. Again, so that your project can use that API key whenever it's making the API calls. After you've acquired your Serper API key, you are gonna have to set the setting within the definition of your agent. As you can see here, this is where we're talking about our business analyst agent and within the agent definition, which includes your role, your goal, your backstory, your memory. In the tools section, that's where you can insert your Serper Dev tool uh, setting on it to make sure that to make sure that the agent has access to that specific tool. Now, this project that I have here is a continuation of the one we started working on yesterday, which again, the problem I'm trying to solve right now with Crew AI is basically I want to make the postings, job descriptions, and just handle the project or rather the headache that I have of trying to hire a video editor. I don't want to start reach, researching all the things that I would need to do or the skills I need to look for. I want Crew AI to take care of it for me. So right now, what we have right now, it's not a complete project. Project. This is barely just a template. Again, there are descriptions for all the agents already, but like I said, it's not very it's not very detailed. So what you're actually able to do is, whenever you click the link in the description, it's gonna open up this project. All you have to do is you're gonna go to copy, and you're gonna go to save a copy in Drive. This is gonna open up your copy, and you'll be able to edit it and run it. And again, when you open this, when you open this project on your Google, on Google Chrome, you'll be able to basically run it right now. Let me just close these because these are the results from when I ran it. But I want to show you real quick how easy it's going to be for you to set it up on your own. So this is going to be the setup for your Crea project. You no longer need to install anything on your desktop. You can just run it from here. This first line. All it does is pulls the code for the template that I uploaded to GitHub and all of these other all of these other lines are just the installations that Crew AI needs in order to run. But again, instead of it running in your computer, it's just gonna run on, on this notebook called Google Colab. And again, it's gonna be super simple. I've already tested this. You just go through each one of these lines one by one. Again, this too, for all the installations, here you have the pip install Crew AI and some of the other libraries that the, you know, that the project is gonna need. The, the only other thing you need to edit is after you download the code in this first line, you're gonna go to your folders here on this left side. You're gonna open this. This is where the project files are in hiring video editor. You're gonna go to you're gonna go to your agents.py file, which opens right here. And this is where you need to copy and paste your API keys. You can need one for your OpenAI API key if you are using ChatGPT and you need to insert it here. And again, just go to file and you click save. So whenever you finish installing all of these libraries and you go to your Python main.py file, you'll be able to run your project and it'll be able to use your custom API keys. If you don't put these in here, you're just gonna get an error. It's not gonna run. And if you haven't gotten your your OpenAI API key, all you need to do is go to platform.openai.com. 
when you sign in on there it's going to take you to a page that looks a little bit like this and the main thing that you have to do here is you do have to go to your settings go to billing in this part you have to set up your you do have to set up either a credit card or a debit card and you have to pay for credits up front i just do it ten dollars at a time that way whenever you start using your api key once you run out of those credits you won't get charged anymore from there and once you add your billing once you add your billing method you can go ahead and go to api keys in this part it is going to ask you to verify you know your account through email or either phone number and once you do that you will be able to create any all the api keys that you want now you can set up your api key without setting up the billing but from experience if you don't have any funds your api keys are just not going to work as you can see here i think on the last create project i ran when i was testing it i went over my balance now i have a negative balance any new api key i create from now on if i try to use it it's just not going to work it's going to say invalid key so avoid that headache if you don't want to add ten dollars you can add two three four five whatever you want and again once you're able to copy this google collab notebook run all these little commands on here you'll be able to run this create AI project here that i have and if you want to read through any of the code again we're going to go a little more in depth to actually customize it this is just a template a lot of the descriptions i have here for the agents are very generic they're not meant to be descriptive right now that's another video but again if you do want to start looking through it you're more than welcome to look through it edit it and edit it any way you want if you followed some of the other videos that i have and you feel more comfortable doing crew ai projects customize them then by all means go for it but again you just have to click here you can edit it you just have to save it and that's going to save on your on your copy of your google collab notebook and guys the other thing i want to emphasize for any of these projects that i make i know you see all the different files or different code i want to be completely transparent with you a lot of this that i make i do use chat gpt for it now the reason why i'm emphasizing this is because i don't want you to feel like you have to memorize all of the syntax in python or in these type of creative projects in order to move forward with making the things that you want to make now if you go to the create page right here this is your official page you click chat with docs right here it takes you to a chat gpt agent that is already linked to the career AI documentation so here you can ask anything you want about korea any feature and this is pretty much how i made this project that you're looking at right now these were a lot of questions there's that i was getting i was asking for sample files i was asking for it to correct certain things and look here right at the top the way i started building on the actual project i really gave it just my entire youtube transcript from the last video that you saw i gave it a picture of that chart that i made that i used to explain to you guys what monique's project was and i basically just told it to use the most recent most up-to-date korea documentation so again don't break your head trying to memorize all this syntax don't do that at the end of the day ai technology is supposed to make your lives easier not not harder so there is a bit of a learning curve but again try your best to start making things to start testing things and to really just start playing with these technologies the only thing we did right now was pretty much download your template project it's gonna have the google search feature enabled already once you set it up with your serper api key and on the next one we'll be working a little more on detailing and writing out very more descriptive definitions for how these tasks are going to work for how the agents are going to behave thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one